Hey everybody, it's Kneecap here, and we have a date set for the World of Warcraft, the War Within Beta, and that date is June 5th. Uh, so what we're going to talk about in this video is how to get access to the beta, or maybe get access to the beta, and what to expect from my channel as soon as this beta comes out, essentially. So um, as this tweet here from World of Warcraft says, uh, sign, ups for, uh, sign up for the beta uh, opt-in or pre-order the epic edition for guaranteed access so what that means is there's two possible ways to do it you do have to opt in for world of warcraft to be selected for the beta it won't just select you unless you pre-ordered the epic edition um of the war within ahead of time right so if you're not someone who likes to pre-order or you you know don't want to buy the epic edition or whatever and you just pre-order the regular game whatever case might be for you uh, to actually opt in you need to go to the war within website which is the war within um or you you know the, you just kind of uh you can even probably type in the war within.com and it'll probably redirect you here um so and then you right here you just go to beta opt-in um, i'm already opted in but I'm not logged in, so that's why it still has it there for me. But you can just opt into the beta by clicking that. Um, you can also pre-purchase here too, but I'm not here to sell you on buying products or anything like that. So that's how you can get in naturally, and they just select accounts that are flagged uh, just randomly, uh, besides the people like streamers and stuff like that that they automatically put in. Um, they'll flag random accounts, and you can possibly get access to the beta. However, with the War Within, this is the first time they're doing this, by pre-purchasing the Epic Edition, you do get guaranteed access. Now, I am, like I said, I'm not here to sell you on products or anything, but I will say why this is a good thing in general. Uh, I, I don't I, I don't include this as the same thing as like three days early access or whatever, right? I'm saying this is this is a this is different to me. And it's a big reason, especially to me, right? Uh, on a personal level, as a small creator, I don't have any connections at Blizzard or anything like that, right? So if I got into the alpha, it would have been complete luck and I would have been very happy about that. But um, there's, you know, I might not get into the beta either, right? Now I have a very old account and I do get flagged for the beta on many expansions uh, just because I'm an old account. I provide a lot of feedback and so my account probably gets flagged, you know, fairly often because of that. But, um, you know, for example, in Dragonflight, I did not get the beta, right? So in Shadowlands, I got in on like the very first beta as a randomly selected account, whatever. Um, and that was really cool. I was able to do a lot of stuff with Threat Paladin, a lot of theory crafting, a lot of a lot of which I was correct on, uh, like in a con uh, you know contrary way to even what the mainstream people were saying. Uh, and then Dragonflight came and I did not get access to it. And that really sucks as a creator because you don't actually get to test anything out. You don't get to provide, you know, get that first look on things right there might be some other person telling you the wrong thing or something because i don't have access to it um and so it's a big thing to guarantee for me that i get in now does it feel weird like paying for beta yeah in some ways it does although that seems to be more normalized now to like be a founder of a game or something and you like get alpha and beta access and all this kind of stuff um that seems to kind of be like the way like even like indie games are made uh, but does it feel weird to pay a triple A thing to be in the beta? Yeah, but I really want to be in the beta personally. Now for regular people, I like regular my regular people, I mean, if you're not making content or doing something, you know, above and beyond with a game, then I don't think it's necessary whatsoever to have a beta or an alpha or anything. It's still cool, sure. Um, but maybe maybe you just care a lot and want to give a lot of feedback. Um, you know, and then in that case maybe you, you know, maybe you do pony up the money or whatever for it. But for me, you know, I was going to get it even without the beta access, most likely. Um, so for me, it was a no brainer. Now, as for what we could expect uh, here on this channel, after kind of going over how to get into the beta, um, what to expect here, I'm basically as soon as this comes out, I'm not gonna be playing retail much anymore. So this week, I'm going to try to finish farming my aspect crest that I need. Uh, to kind of like finish out my gear to be ready to go into the next expansion with like, you know, I always like to go in the expansion with maybe not the best gear possible, especially these last two faded seasons. But if it's not a non faded season, then yes, literally the best gear possible, like going from Nihilotha into uh, from BFA into Shadowlands, right? 
to have the best gear possible to make that transition. And I always like to do that. And so I want to try to finish up my gear on live. And so I'm going to really try to finish off my aspect crest because that's all I really need to have a you know, five, mid 520s item level is to finish out farming my aspect crest. And so I hope I hope to do that. And then I'm going to be spending pretty much all my time on the beta playing. I'll be checking out everything with our paladin. I'll be checking out the talents, the hero talents, the you know maybe the stat like stats, how good stats are. Is the mastery change good for rat? Pretty much everything with that. I'm going to be exploring everything, looking for even places where maybe there's no secrets implemented, but maybe this place is mysterious and could have a secret in it. Um, you know, I know in the BFA. Uh, beta i was i found like a cave that was like hey this this could be possibly somewhere where a secret could be and it ended up having a secret in it which was really cool like months and months and months later <laughs> but it was really really cool that that was the case like it was just a guess but i'll, I'll be exploring everything possible i'll be doing everything rep paladin related i'll be giving feedback to the general game and everything else as well and i'll be giving that feedback here on my channel and uh you know and anyone else can take the information I'm giving them and give their own feedback based on that, right? And that's what I like to, uh, to kind of do during betas and stuff like that is to provide the most intelligent feedback that I can. And I like to think that I'm intelligent and I like to think that I'm correct most of the time. And I think that's true, <laughs> like like uh, objectively true. But, um, you know, that's, that's the kind of content I'm gonna be putting out. And I hopefully will be doing more content as well. And I'm super excited about this. I've been waiting for this, especially with uh, my guild decided not to really play the faded season. Um, you know, it's been, I've been pretty much playing remix and then playing other games. And of course doing more productive things you could say, like going outside and, you know, doing, doing other things with my kids and stuff like that, uh, in the afternoons and stuff. So, uh, that, that can obviously be, uh, obviously I always do that stuff. I do not neglect my children. Uh, but you know, like doing it more than, but than normal, which is also very, very good to do. Uh, but I am very excited to get into this beta and have like uh, a focus uh, to do, especially in the evening time when I might be the only one awake. Uh, it's nice to have something to do and to focus on, and I will be doing that. So uh, that's what you can expect here. Uh, lots of content and, of course, just the main things. Rep Paladin, exp exploration, secrets, that kind of stuff. And then, of course, um, just like general game info. Uh, that's important, like important game info. You really need to fix this. You really need to do this. This is very important to know, that kind of thing. I don't post many spoilers. So if you're worried about spoilers, I try not to talk about those. I'm not going to go into, oh, this quest reveals a spoiler or anything like that. That's not kind of, I don't like spoilers. So I'm not going to post a bunch of spoilers on my channel. Uh, it's, it's mostly going to be like data driven stuff um, and not like spoiling things for people. So uh, yeah, that's, that's what we can expect here starting next week. And I'm super excited for it. Uh, you know, whoever else pre-ordered or whatever, you know, see you on the beta. If you don't have it, you know, just tune in to me or, you know, hundreds or thousands of other uh, YouTubers that will be doing it or watch a stream or whatever. And if you're curious to see it, and honestly, if you don't like anything being spoiled, just ignore it and, you know, go about your way playing either one of the million game modes of World of Warcraft or literally anything else that you want to do. So uh, no, no big deal there. If something pertinent happens on retail i'll of course make a video about retail still as well like not retail but the uh live uh dragonflight expansion uh if, if something big happens i'll of course you know be like hey this big thing changed on dragonflight or this uh, i know there's still um the pre-patch and stuff that happened right so the pre-patch might be an interesting thing to talk about when that comes out so uh, definitely still be checking back in but i'll be real we will be focusing mostly on the war within here so uh going forward from uh, June 5th. So that's gonna be it for this one. Just want to do a quick video about this. As always, I do ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you are not. As always, everybody have a good one.